technical issues here. So I might have to hop off the mic because, uh, oh shoot. Well, actually, it might be better. Especially, is this the Kevy who I think it is? Is this Poke? Oh, used yeah, to be yeah, Poke yeah, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Man, it's also been a long time since I've seen him. Uh, I'll do my best to commentate what's going on here. All right, Min Min. Um, we all know her. Uh, extreme long range. Um, that was. <laughs> I'm always amazed whenever I see that up smash reflect. It's just like why? <laughs> it's like you didn't need to add that. Um, so from the looks of it, I think Diddy off stage having those monkey flip recoveries and just overall like fear versus movement can help him a lot. Because Min Min is one of those characters where if you're off stage, he will go to the end of the earth just to kill you when you're close to the blast zone. So I think having those mix-ups and recovery are definitely going to help. Um, also, I think Boomerang... Ooh, I'm sorry, not Boomerang, Banana. I think Banana is really important here because every time Min Min tries to do an earn, uh, or commit to an attack, Diddy can kind of throw the Banana Peel midway and she'll slip. So I think that's really important just to make sure that she's not putting the pressure on. Because so whenever she does, she almost gets a kill for it. Good pressure with the up airs. I like that dash dance, not over committing to the ledge. Sometimes you just don't want to go off stage. That said, though, he commits to it. Back. All right, the up smash not quite taking it. Ooh, Slingshot doesn't pick up the banana. Oh, that's gonna take it. Alright, that's gonna be a kill. Nice. Yeah, whenever whenever Min Min tries to commit to a second attack, like a second arm extension, did he can kind of just Banana peel midway, and then she, all of a sudden she trips, and you get a lot of damage. Ooh, doesn't quite punish that attack. Tries to go for the landing air, catch the whiff. Ooh, banana peel down there. No way. Oh my god. All right. So, since Salty Fun's not as exploding, I'll commentate for the time being. And uh, since I wasn't really watching the set, I get to watch it. I get to watch the match. In fast forward, let's see how Kevy took this first game. So, finished it off with the nice uh, beefy arm. I like that. Whoop! I must have missed one. <laughs> All right. So, first stock, they're going pretty even. And then, nice, her some good harassment there. Oh, and the rising megawatt. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, is it edge guard time? Is it edge guard time? It is covering the, the ledge jump. Putting out, like, meanie moves that just linger over, like, to when you're trying to bait a jump is so good. She's really powerful with that. And nice F smash to even out the stocks there. Oh, I see that Slingshot is switching to Joker. Okay. That's a nice choice. All right, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really seen Joker versus Min Min. I don't watch a lot of VODs of Joker, but... Yeah, same um, here. I mean, I'm yeah. imagining that, like, you know, he he's kind of small but like he's still well he's small in a different way so right now he's actually he's a pretty medium-sized character he is fast though so speed's definitely gonna be what's gonna help him get in on a character like min min 
It's gonna have to be really active uh, and just like really aware of like the space that Ram Ram covers when he's trying to like jump and come in for above because like that's her like main blind spot, but she just covers like a diagonal in front above her. So like if you're able to get past that, then you should have a pretty solid opening. Um, I do think it's a uh, kind of not. It, it, it's tough. I think a stage like Smashville kind of helps her because uh, that platform just covers so much real estate and having a, having a roof above your head can be really helpful uh, because it prevents your opponent from coming down with an aerial because they, they won't be able to fall through the platform. But regardless, it's still it's going pretty even and Slingshot kind of going a little bit for a Hail Mary off stage hit right there. Uh, I guess he was trying to like get the last bits of Arsene. Uh... Let's see. All right. Ooh, can be looking for that grab. Yeah, the megawatt is out, so you got to be careful. Yep, and the beefy arm. Trogdor on deck. Oh, go looking for an edge guard. Oh, all right. Using the uh, the the guns to like for some aerial movement. You do get some horizontal movement from that. It's get, we're getting real up there. We're going to see a stock taken like any second now. And is that going to be it? And it is. Oh, that's it. He kind of like was flying. He had some decent air time there. I, I don't think he would have been able to survive, but he definitely uh, was up there pretty good. So good DI. Uh, and yeah, all right. So nice quick cross up with the back air. Able to even up the stocks. Uh, neck and neck. Good. Uh, you never want to let your opponent uh, build too much of a lead. You got to get that e that stock taken as soon as possible, but you know, at the same time, kind of not overextend. But we got a real crazy edge guard happening right now uh, by Kevy. Up, oh, all right. Relinquished damage. a little bit. Yeah, some damage. Ooh. Arsene is on deck. Yeah. Oh, wasn't ready for the, the, the one, two. Only blocked the one, and then the two came out and got him. Yeah. Like oh no! Oh, he no. got stuck in his gunfire. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, Slingshot has this tendency to kind of just jump forward. Um, it's pretty common. Um, a lot of players do this. Against Min Min, you really don't want to do that because every time you jump forward, she just extends her arms and all of a sudden mm -hmm. you're back where you started. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be really scary. Um, that said, there are a few tricks, like for example, like Slingshot did right there, the downward gun, extremely helpful versus uh, Min Min, Ooh. and oh, oh I thought I was going to take it. Yeah, I almost sealed it. Yeah, you were saying? Yeah, so as Joker, I would imagine that a lot of the, the neutral is basically just downward gun, mm -hmm. and I would assume sometimes uh, side B, I think. Yeah, I can see that for legs. sure. Especially with the fact that like side B does that like that downward angle, it can it can be pretty useful. Uh, Tetracon. Easy right. back here is right here. Yeah. Ooh. Did the side B a little bit too close, so it just went right past her. Ooh, that was a sick tech chase. Oh, Ooh. look at this damage. Got the drag down into the re-grab, but didn't get too much off of that. Still, just showing that he has that capability uh, means that like it's something that Kevin needs to watch out for. Uh, because it's like, oh, I messed up the first time, but next time, I know what I did. I'll get it. Ooh, nice edge oh, guard. Oh, no way. That no could way. be it, and that is oh, going to be it. it. Yeah, no jump. That's it. Yeah. All right, so Slingshot going to be taking game two. Impressive. Uh, I, you know what? You know what, Morgana? You're right. It was a bit impressive. This is a nice, nice deep uh, offstage gameplay right there. I like that he went low to rise with the forward air and then came back out just to seal the deal. Really taking full advantage of the tether recovery that yeah, that Joker has as well, you know? Uh, and yeah. So, good stuff. We're going to be going to a game three. Let's see what kind of uh, adjustment. So, the first stock was taken by Kevy with the back air with the megawatt. And then, let's see the second stock. All right. I think it's back here. Mm, wow, that was kind of in a scuffle right there. So definitely, there can be some some stuff cleaned up from both ends over there. 
Oh, and that was kind of an SD. Ooh, that, that doesn't look too good for Kevy because, like, uh, the fact that, like, it was last stock, but we saw, you know, unfortunate play like that, uh, it does make me a little bit worried uh, to see how this counter pick is going to go. But, you know, uh, it's entirely possible Kevy's going to catch on to something. So we're going to see in a second as we're going to FD for game three. Interesting. Does Min Min prefer flat, uh, like, FD? Yeah, so from my experiences uh, fighting against many Min Min players myself, it seems like they kind of hate the platform because a lot of characters will retreat to them. Mm -hmm. Because typically Min Min's like to like jump while extending their arms to cover jump. Okay. And so what characters will do is they'll do the counterplay of going on platforms to avoid that. So okay. when you're on FD, and you have no platforms, where do you really go? Well, all you can really do is uh, dash back, jump away, and with long range like this, it's really hard to do that. So they really like the FD stage, for sure. Okay, yeah, I guess I was kind of overemphasizing having a roof over your head, but it definitely that definitely makes sense. And we're already seeing it kind of pay some dividends here because Kevy's already got a pretty, a pretty decent lead. Not too much of it because... Uh, Min Min herself is not too far from death right now. Like, damage is getting high. Oh! And Ooh, actually nice slingshot. Edgar. Turning it around quickly. Kevin getting a little bit uh, hasty with that up smash. Kind of a little bit too obvious. And oh no. Oh my. Oh. This slingshot is sick. We're getting a lot of grabs here. We're getting... I, I think uh, Min... Kevy's getting a little bit overwhelmed. Let's see what kind of adjustments uh, they can make. Uh, Kevy kind of rolling a bit, kind of like spot dodging. All right. Yeah, at, th at that grab. moment when Min Min loses that pressure, it's like, what yeah. do you really have aside from that? Ooh, parry up smash. <laughs> Kevy was down, but definitely not out. 74 damage, well, it definitely at a deficit. Not the worst. Just got to make it back on stage and then we can talk. Uh-oh, uh-oh, nice. Good wait to not do the uppie right away because remember when you take a hit, you can't grab the ledge for 55 frames. That still applies to tethers. And so then that would have been a whiff. So making it back to the stage. All right, let's see if uh, Kevin can get hold of center. All right, not uh, falling in on their opponent. Good. All right, R10 about to be complete. We might see it come out. Oh, it doesn't even need it. Punishes the cross-up roll with the down smash. That's what down smash is kind of right. designed to do, so. Frame traps with the Nair to get more damage. All right, Kevin's oh, looking for an set him off. <laughs> I don't know who that F smash <laughs> that, that, was going to hit, though, but yeah. That side be off stage barely oh! missed. <laughs> oh. OK. Right. Ooh, and, okay. and there you go. That there, that's one of Min Min's strengths right there. Outranging the Tetracarn counter. Oh my god. <laughs> what a beautiful design. <laughs> Min Min, please, please. Oh, DIing, oh. Uh, falling in onto their opponent. Uh, while also committing to an aerial. And uh, Slingshot just read it and just charged forward, smash, and ended it. Uh, good stuff by both players. Uh, Slingshot definitely came out on top for this one. Uh, but, you know, Kevy did put up one hell of a fight. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be moving on to the loser's bracket while Slingshot going to continue in the winner's bracket. Down but not out, I can definitely see a, a, few, a few W's in uh, Kevy's future. Uh, in not just this bracket, but in general. So, yeah, man, when that up throw didn't kill, that must have been real annoying. But able to just get that up smash, like, right away. So that's pretty helpful. I was really impressed by Slingshot. Like, a lot of good frame traps, near-perfect edge guarding. Mm -hmm. That was so fun to watch from Joker's perspective. Yeah. Look at that. Punishes the whiff. Boom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay.